Our following news in downtown Portland breaking news after a shooting. And so this happened at 10th and Alders. The word we're getting know that that intersection, a busy one is closed for one block in each direction. And we now have our Brandon Thompson right there close to the scene as possible. Brandon, tell us where you're at and what you know. We're right here on Southwest Morrison and 10th Avenue, and I just heard from law enforcement sources that two people were shot and one was killed at this scene. Here is a look at what is happening right now, where several intersections are closed here along 10th. They are also closed uh, near this intersection on Alder in each direction, as well as it is an active scene, as you can see law enforcement investigating this scene right now. Now, of course, this comes after a weekend where two people were shot in, or two shootings happened in the downtown Portland area over this weekend on Sunday. We are here near the bottom of the new Ritz-Carlton building where this has happened. Um, we talked to people who were near this scene when they first heard the gunshots. Some people told us it sounded like the MAX train going over the tracks, but when they came outside and saw the law enforcement activity, they realized what was happening here, that a shooting had occurred. And again, we're hearing from law enforcement sources that two people had been shot. One has been killed at this time. Now, we are still waiting to hear from a law enforcement Portland Police's PIO and you could see that major crime investigation unit rolling on scene right now obviously all of this happening just in the last half an hour to 45 minutes we are still waiting to uh, hear from the PIO with Portland Police as to what unfolded here but what we know right now is two people have been shot one killed here in downtown Portland on Southwest 10th and Alder Brandon's Brandon, stay with me for a little bit here. I wanted you to set the scene a little bit more for those who may not come into downtown as frequently. You're a few blocks south of Burnside, once again, a typically busy area. Was it busy when you got there, or do you feel like people kind of scattered and know to get away because of what happened? It's right off of 10th, which is one of the main thoroughfares. I mean, the streetcar is blocked just a few blocks up, and we are seeing a lot of traffic being diverted off of 10th with this scene closed here. It is a pretty busy intersection. It's right next to the Target that's scheduled to close here. And again, that new Ritz-Carlton building, you can see police officers are securing this scene here and trying to uh, uh, secure it as, as many people are looking on, uh, trying to figure out what's happening. I mean, with this large scene uh, here in what is really a busy part of downtown, um, a lot of people walking by wondering what's happening and they're trying to, to secure so they could do their investigation, uh, do, complete that process, and, and uh, again, figure out what led to this shooting at this time. Elizabeth? All right, Brandon, I know you're going to stay on scene, gather more information as possible. Thank you so much for